What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is just by this big old Matco truck that you see. So let's take a look and see what Matco Michael's got. You guys, come on. I was hoping you'd done well enough she could have the day off, but. Yeah, you know. Not today, huh? That's just one of those things. But. Well, how's y'all's week been treating y'all? It's pretty good. We actually got packages in today, so. Uh-oh. Uh, I seen the picture on Instagram. Looked like you had a bunch of them. Yeah, we got, uh, our truck was pretty bare this morning. Uh, we <laughs> That's sold a, good, though. Yeah, I mean, well, we saw a bunch of tools yesterday, and it was like, ah. Uh, we gotta get some stuff and uh i mean it's been ordered we just hadn't got nothing so yeah. um it was kind of getting a little depressing looking down this way it's like golly where's it all at but uh i just so happened to get on my ups app last night and it showed some packages coming in so i told her this morning i said just call and tell them we'll come pick them up yeah um because we can we can pick them up at nine so a couple of shops wouldn't see it but we wouldn't go all day long right so right uh it what's even more uh i guess exciting to look forward to is that we've got nine more coming in monday Ooh, so man you know that's uh and that's i mean well i don't know so, like i'm looking and all the shelves is full that must be a must be finna be a big sale because we ain't got nowhere to put it we we either gonna do a big sale or at least have a stock truck. I mean, we <laughs> I'm always up for selling I stuff mean, on top of stuff on top of stuff. I'm huh? fine with it. If you gotta move something, look for it. I'm I'm good. I you know I'm not big on a lot of stuff sitting in the floors and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. there's ways to to I guess organize it. If I had to put it in some toolbox drawers, I will. Yeah. Um, that's usually when I sell my boxes. Yeah. Stuff After you get them full, then have yeah. to unload everything. Yeah, she'll, yeah. she'll spend like two or three hours setting it up to where it all looks good in there, and then the next day it's like, I want that box, and it's yeah. like, okay, you know. Oh well. Uh, that one's supposed to be sold. Supposed to pick it up next week. Um, just black waiting on, on the top black drawer. On black. Oh, it's getting a top. It's drawer. getting a top yeah. drawer, and it's getting a um, stainless steel top. So. Ooh. It, uh, nice. The snow and ice kind of screwed us up there. It um, got shipped to another distributor, um, and the distributor was sending it to me. Well, instead of FedEx sending it to me, it went back to the DC, and now the DC's having to send it back to me. So it's been what uh, what length is that box? Cause seventy. That's a long look one. Look up forty-two twenty-five or forty-three. 25. I'm I'm really surprised to be honest with you that you still got this box here. We had a guy today. I mean, we've had so many bites on it, and so many people want it. Forty-three twenty-five. Because um, that is a beautiful box. I think if they ever make a Revel X top box, I think, don't hold me to this 100% because it's going to be hard to get me away from white. <laughs> but if I had to switch colors, this is exactly what I'd go with. Oh, I, I you know. That is a good looking box right there. I'm working on a, uh, I'm working on a 5.4 Ford at the house. And of Bless course, your heart. Well, all I, can say. all I can say is whoever designed the passenger valve cover on that thing is an idiot. Yeah. Um, Especially with the AC lines, the way they're all over man, the top of it. It's a wonderful design. And see, I, I talked to a, a buddy that, that works on the Ford, and he's like, well, you're either going to have a, an 8, 9 bolt set up, or you're going to have a 14, 15 bolt set up. He said the 14, 15 bolt set up is a nightmare. Well, I had the 14, 15 bolt set up. So, mm -hmm. And that AC line... Uh, I just finally gave up. And Might as well loose. suck the Freon out of it, take I it had out, to. And get it out um, of the line. I didn't want to, but it was at the point that it either either I was going to be replacing the Freon because I broke the line, or it's you know. Yeah, and like on the new three, and they didn't. They did better as they evolved, 
but the new 3.5s, the valve cover on that side, like before you get it on, you'll be ready to beat your forehead. Like you'll be on your hands and knees where you're, you know, yeah. banging your forehead against the concrete, just to, hoping that God will take you out of this world before you finish that job. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I'm doing uh, the phasers and the, the chain and the... Uh, just lock them out. I'm just put a lock yeah. out on it, be done with it. Say, look, your check engine light's going to be on, but you'll never, ever, ever, never, ever have problems <laughs> with this engine again. Yeah, well... Just lock them out. Um, I'm doing all that, but... Um, the valve cover is the hardest part of the job. That one, and I thought I had it. You know, everybody told me it was a nightmare on that side, and I had the wiring harness completely moved out of the way. I had, I took, I went ahead and took the ECM out of the way because mm -hmm. it's just a couple of bolts. And I thought, all right, it no, you know, you know it. Uh, it's just the AC line, and it's the way it kind of tucks yep. under the firewall at the yep. back. That's just. But <sighs> the, where I was getting with that is uh, all my tools is in like tubs and stuff. And as I was going to the tubs, I was like, I have a perfectly good toolbox that I could just be turning around to that would speed this job up. Man, this one right here is a prime candidate. Um, it, you know, if, if we hadn't got told this week that um, toolboxes are at like a 10 week lead time now, I would probably take that box off the truck and I'd have it. Um, Cause I'll be honest with you, like I like the looks of it. I don't need it. Cause I ain't even got my box full. Yeah. But it, there's two things that keep me from doing that. One, I know I would have to put something in it, so I'd have to buy more tools. And two, I don't want another toolbox. Right? That's <laughs> the only two things, but that's a beautiful box, yeah. man. That's, that's a really good looking box. No, but whoever designed that Ford, it's, uh, there's so much other, you know, you turn that AC line where it goes into that, you turn it, you know, just a couple inches. Yeah, all they had to do was like put a 45 yep. and then, uh, like, but you know what? If they make them aggravating, people take them to the dealership. Yeah, so. well, not this one, I don't guess. But, <laughs> but yeah. I'm telling you, if whoever's vehicle it is, if you can talk them into just putting those blocks in there, locking those phasers out. After showing him what had happened, I don't think he's going to have any problem. With it. I mean, that does, it, it, what, you know, it has four guides. Yep. Two on the tensioner, two are not. They're, the other two that wasn't on the tensioner are completely gone. And I bet you there's two inches of play in that chain we've replaced them before they've been bad enough that the passion it's always the passenger side too that's what's crazy yeah. to me you know the ones that, that that always go bad but the cams will be just eat up you know? um, this one was the 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 actual guides had been broke for so long that it had eat into the block mm -hmm. and the cover and i was like eh, well you know yeah, those those lockout blocks. Yeah, that's the best thing for the Tritons. Well, we're gonna get it fixed up, get it finished out, and out of the way. But but you're a hundred percent correct. The valve cover is the worst part. Yeah. Of the entire process on that. Yeah, I just, you know, I sat there looking at it last night. And I could, I think it took me right at like three and a half hours to tear it down, and it could have probably took me an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's all because of that. Well, AC see, line. and I and I, I I caused myself even longer because I kept trying and trying and trying to just go around the AC line, just go around it. I should have just went ahead. And <laughs> it is what it is on that one. Well, I tell you something, I got a high of because I done lost it. Uh oh. And when I say I lost it, like I really lost it because usually I'll lose something and I can find it in a couple of days, but it's been gone for over a week. It's gone. And I think it's on the cowl of a vehicle. <laughs> I need a quarter inch universal, the pinless design socket. Socket. The, uh, I mean, uh, the, the universal impact adapter, I guess yeah. you call it. Okay. So, but. and I've got the part number of the original one All right. that I had, or the set. The set part number is a S4 UJ bundle, the little quarter inch one there. Uh oh, yep. It's got an empty spot there. That ain't never a good thing. And you know what'll happen? Like I'll buy it and I'll probably find it. Yeah. But then I'll have two. Then I can have one for sacrificial jobs. But that right there, that's what I was going to tell you. If well, obviously you've got them because you sell them for a living. But when you get ready to put those valve cover bolts in, magnetic socket. Yeah. With that universal on a quarter inch electric ratchet and let her eat. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the best thing I can do. I will say that I like the way they don't let the bolts come out of the valve cover. Yep. That, that is a plus. Um, 
But other than that, I, I don't like nothing about that valvular job. <laughs> Uh, what sucks too is even like the little rubber when you replace your valve cover gaskets you yeah. know it comes with the new rubber grommets like your fingers will be so sore from pushing those bolts out of that yeah. and putting the new rubber inserts in yeah like it sucks yeah it's, it's crazy but i mean gotta work on something right that's it so we're gonna talk about the light today i found out last night if you don't have a good light yeah. Especially if you're working at night. You're going to have a good light. Yeah, it'll fun, so. Light's worth as much as a good ratchet. Yep. So that's the part number on the light. And I really like this light. It's like 800 lumens, but I like the way it folds out. I like the way it's got a double magnet. So I was able to actually set it up on the cow panel. Uh, and I could stick it to the metal with two magnets. So it helped out a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I know more and more hoods are going away from the, the metal, right. but um it is what it is right well we can get it but it's got two two features on the light or several features you can go all both of them whoop, blind everybody on the camera uh both of them on all at once or you can do individual so cool pretty cool light look how look and see what the around the price of it is um battery lasts uh anywhere from six and a half to seven hours so that's always a plus Absolutely. They usually run right around a hundred bucks or somewhere in there. That's so not bad. I like it. It helped me out a lot last night. Um, anytime I can see, I can do a lot more, mm -hmm. especially on the back bolts of that. Thing. It amazes me how much longer lights can last yep. now because of the you know LEDs and plus the battery technology. If you used to just think back, even. But you're a lot younger than I am. But you know, like say in the, the the 90s, early 90s, if a guy said, "Man, I got a rechargeable light that'll last six hours," uh, yeah, you know those battery chargers that you jump off a big truck. It's got mm. the the four big batteries. It's made inside them. It's got the wheels on it. That's what you'd have to tote around with you for that's it right. to last six hours. That's right. <laughs> and now they're getting little bitty lights. Well, too. and that's the same way with um, drills and impacts and mm. all that. That stuff. Not only has it upped the um, time that the battery will last, it's up to torque too. Yeah. So it's crazy how much a battery can do. Mm -hmm. And of course, they've changed some other stuff in the hammer designs and stuff like that too. But batteries have become a long way. Um, we've talked about that many times with air and battery. But um, the lights, the longer they last, the better to me. Um, yeah. Not that I I'm, like the fact that, I mean, if it can last a day, that's a great light, honestly. Yeah. But when you don't have to charge your light every day, that's really nice because yeah. I never, when they don't work is when I remember I needed to charge them. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that happens more than you think too. Yep. But, um, the light's always a good choice. Um, the next the next thing I was going to talk about, we got some price-friendly wrenches. I've showed them price before. Price-friendly wrenches. Yeah. Everybody loves that. Yeah, that's right. I bet they're not as price friendly as those extra long ones that y'all had on sale that time. No, those things went quick too. That oh. right there, like, I, I almost felt like the police was going to come up and put me in handcuffs when I walked <laughs> off the truck because you kind of felt like you stole those wrenches. Yeah, but these are them. I've showed them before, um, but they've become really popular again the last couple of weeks. So um, we just got them back out showing them. Um, they run different prices in different areas and stuff, but they're usually around 150 or a little above or so in there. Yeah. Um, but you can't beat it. I mean, mm -hmm. lifetime warranty, nice wrenches. Um, so we, uh, we've sold a couple sets this week and probably will sell as many as we can get, honestly. Uh, cool. We don't really have any problem selling them. But um, if we could have got more of the extra large wrenches, we would have sold the, the long ones, we would have sold mm -hmm. more of those. Those were a really good deal. So, <laughs> Hopefully they'll do that every year, and that way everybody yeah. can get a little taste of something awesome from Metco. That's right. Well, and, and I think they are. Um, they got a lot going on in, in the background of it. Um, so It would be nice if they keep expanding this blue tool line because yeah, they, everybody uh, seems to really enjoy them. Somebody had commented on the video last week that he had saw a blue TMP MS tool. I had um, somebody text me a picture of that yeah. and said, hey, man, do you know this? I, I, like, I think cool. blue's coming in rapid. Good. Um, I, you know, 
I don't have any secrets or intel on it, but just to know that they went from, you know, one ratchet to all the ratchets mm -hmm. to the black ratchets to now a TPMS tool to, you know, I just think it's going to keep spiraling in that direction. Right. Normally when they find something that works, they keep going with it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping they can continue doing that, but I also like the way that they've started focusing more on the impact lines and stuff like that. The cordless line they've really really put some if we can get matco to keep on with the blue ratchets or the all the blue tools and then make a triple bay rebel x yeah that would be nice wouldn't it yeah um like you don't need no other tool trucks at that point yeah they're always looking at ideas um for expanding on their boxes and stuff um i don't i I don't see them not expanding the Revel X line. That's right. the top of the line box. Um, Man, I'm gonna them. be honest with you, dude. I know you said that a hundred times. I don't see how they can get any better than the 6S with it. Well, like it, the only way it can get any better is you mash a button, a little dude jumps out and runs over and hands you what you need. <laughs> like, you know, well, the uh, 6S is a great box. The 6S is a great box, and that's why it didn't get replaced. Mm -hmm. um, from what I wasn't in. Uh, around when they come out with a Revel, it was already out when I come in. Um, but the the Revel X was were, were supposed to replace other boxes, but the other boxes were selling so great and are so great, and they all compare so clo closely um, that they they couldn't replace nothing. Right? Um, there's not a whole lot of different features on the Revel X or Revel. Um, but it is, you know, it's got some different body lines. Yeah, you know, now they look cool, but uh, I don't see it could work any better because, man, that box I got in there is all, you know what can make it more perfect? I'll be honest, if it was paid for. Yeah. That's the only, that's yeah. the only thing. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I guess it's, you know, it's like cars. There's yeah. several different makes and models of cars out there, and there's a lot of them out there equal, but somebody picks it because of it. it's got a different body different looks basically right. different yeah. body lines and stuff um which now it, it does get made a little different um but i'll put the success up to the quality any day um, man that's a good box they, they stand up i mean they're i stuck. love that box um, i've never had a toolbox that i've owned as long as i have that one and not found flaws in it yeah and that one it's perfect that's like, always good the color's great the drawers work great. The lockers are phenomenal. I like the power drawer. I like the power on the front. Like I wouldn't change anything about it. You yeah. Know I mean, it's, it's well, and perfect. when when they told us that we were at ten weeks on toolbox custom toolboxes, it kind of made me mad at first. But then when you get to looking at the numbers, we're not behind because we're not making any. Like sales in toolboxes has went way up. That's so, good. you know, that's a problem good to have. You want the and they're they're working the toolbox plant. I mean. Uh, the poor people there they're working saturdays and they're working long hours so you can't really ask them to do more right. um so which you know we've talked about back order stuff forever and always but they're running into some of that on the slides and mm -hmm. the casters and stuff but um i'm fine with it they keep they keep building the best made box i'm fine with it i'll wait on it and most of my customers understand that too so yeah um, well i know it, it sucked waiting on my box but after it come in it was all worth it well you know that's like um the Ford Broncos, they're back out and they took them pre-orders. I don't know when they start releasing them, but um, everybody's ordering them. I'm sure su it sucks waiting on them. You know? <laughs> I guarantee you, man, it will uh, be bad. Especially, but it'll be worth it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you're like me, um, when I get ready to buy a vehicle, uh, I've only bought three or four, but when you get ready to to buy one, um, you want to do it right then. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't. T I haven't. Uh, I haven't had to wait on one, but if I did, I'd try to talk myself out of it constantly. It'd be like a toolbox at my house. I'd See, I didn't. Like, I, I was counting down the weeks to mine got here. Yeah. Like, I was looking forward to it. But well, I was definitely you, ready for the change, and that's yeah. what I wanted, so. Yeah. It all I know a lot of it. people, a lot of YouTube people that were ready to hear what it was, too. It was, <laughs> uh, that was a secret to keep, right? But, yep. Yeah. Um, also, I saw um, on the video on the video last week on the on the warranty on the tools, somebody had made the comment that um, on the warranty process that Maco and the distributors need to get on the same page. 
um, because they would warranty warranty the the fire damage. Um, not to be not to come off as as rude or anything, but you have evidently never worked at a dealership if that's your your answer. Mm -hmm. um, they give us a set of rules that we have to follow, and they can break those rules, but we can't. Um, so if, if they did warranty it for you, that's great. I'm proud they did, but technically in, in the right and it's not. And a good dealer took take care of you. Right. I mean, but um, nothing used to make me madder at a dealership than to have a set of rules and then a customer go whine to upper management and they're like, oh, I'll just take care of it. You know, mm -hmm. that used to make me mad. But for the most part, MACO is on the same page as us and we, we do stand right there with it. Um, and there was another one um, about um, the tool dealers never really care for you. They just want your money. You've never had a good tool dealer. No. Sure. You've never had a, no. If, if that's your opinion, you've never had a good tool dealer. I don't no. know who yours is, but. Um, well, in that person's defense, I know I've seen both sides yeah. of that book. I've read both sides of the pages, and I've washed both sides of the plate. Oh, yeah. Good tool dealers are awesome. Bad tool dealers are freaking horrible well and that's why i'm horrible. not saying that he's not right you know not right um if you don't have a good tool dealer then no. you probably are right but there's a lot of good ones out there well there's a reason that you had the hole that you had when you come here i can tell you there and was there's a, a reason why you're way on top of the mountain <laughs> looking back down at that valley you just climbed yeah, out of well and, and, and i'll tell you um there's a lot of distributors that have to go through that. Mm -hmm. You can't, when, when, when you allow people to buy a business and run it the way they want to run it, with a few, I mean, there is some rules and, and I, I call it rules and regulations that you got to follow. That's in any business that you buy into a exactly. franchise. Yeah. But when you give somebody pretty much freedom and it's their business, they can dig a pretty big hole for the next guy. Mm -hmm. And my guy did. My my previous distributor dug a pretty big hole for me to try to fill to come into. but. It's it, if if they'll let him, or let her, because we got female distributors too. If you'll let them, that they can turn it around. Yeah. Um, well, I know I've I've become friends with a lot of Matco dealers, you know, through social media, especially Instagram. And there's a lot of really cool Matco dealers. Oh you know, yeah. I've met a couple of pretty cool Cornwell dealers, a couple of pretty cool Mac dealers. Not as many Snap-on dealers, <laughs> um, but I do have to say. If I was going to get into the tool truck business today, it would definitely be Matco. And if it wasn't Matco, I would go independent. So we had um, yesterday, it's kind of, we had a old Snap-on dealer get on the truck. Uh, he was, he was previous, um, it's been several years. Um, and he was saying that if he, if he had to get back in it, it would be with, with Matco. Mm -hmm. Just about the way the company is. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of customers have kind of switched over too because Matco's kind of proved that, hey, we're not in it just to make a dollar. Like, you know, they changed and made a whole blue ratchet yeah. line, you know, well, just because that's what people wanted, you know, and who else does that? Yeah, well, and and we'll, the distributors have different ways to talk to each other. Uh, and just about every day somebody's reaching out going above and beyond uh, hey what can i do for this good customer of mine mm -hmm. what can i do now of course we're not going to help somebody that has skipped on another distributor or anything right, like that right. i mean there's always backstories to that but if it does come down to that's just a terrible customer to deal with that's you all know, you can do i mean yeah. i'm you know but if we there's there are so many days that I read through different texts and different emails and different different revenues and stuff of, you know, okay, how can I help this customer? How can I go above and beyond this customer? Um, so if you're a good customer, that's probably what you're going to get treated like. Because there's, I can't tell you how many times um, that we've saw that, you know, somebody's passed away and, hey, he has a high... Um, tool balance what do we do and there's just different stuff you know so there's a lot of different ways to, to get it um, so there, there's a lot of good tool dealers out there give them a chance that's true all right guys well I guess we're gonna cut this thing off and get back after it like always thank y'all for watching if you like the video hit the thumbs up check out favorite merchandise cool tools and discount codes is in the description always updated so be sure to check them and if you're not subscribed, it's totally free. It never costs you a penny. You take your finger 
and you press that button and you're in. And while you're pressing, hit that bell. That way you'll always see the newest thing. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later.